Art seems to take her through life. Though trying to outrun the talent she possesses, Rachel says some way or the other, she ends up with a paintbrush and canvas in hand. I started teaching art right out of school, along with my teacher. And everything in life have moved me in that direction. Every single, I tried other things, but it just kept pulling me back. Rachel moved to Trinidad and Tobago in 1996 and established an art gallery. With some changes in her life, she pivoted and began teaching at schools such as St. Nicholas Primary. In December, she combined her love for art and joined Maureen Ferreira's love for wine to establish Art Del Vino. Rachel says Tobago inspires her. It's a beautiful island, we know that, we love Tobago. <laughs> and um, the people and things that are nostalgic to life, like I don't have too many pieces of those things in here, but you know, like the washerwoman, people cooking, baking in the mud oven, those little things that makes Tobago beautiful or whimsical, I would say, love it. Always exploring innovative ways to pass on her creations in a meaningful way, Rachel has been printing her paintings on items, the brainchild of her son, Dean Martin Superville. When you sell an original piece, it's gone. But as an artist, you maintain the rights to your work. And it gives you a little bit more mileage. And also, as you said, people get to enjoy it, you know, in other facets. So art is not just something you put on a wall. It's something you could use. It's, you know, it's a a little book you could use or um, a shot glass or, you know, something that says, remember Tobago um, hotels. They don't have proper gift shops. So we did a little item here that, you know, you could put on a counter and it could carry nice little small items that people could easily purchase and take with them. Historical pieces continue to be her favorite work of art. I like sceneries. Um, Places that would tell a story, mm -hmm. you know, things that are important to people and that would say something about the history. Like I recently painted an area where I grew up and the, you know, we use Facebook all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the amount of comments and people that just love the fact that they would, the amount of stories that came out of it, that thrills me. While Rachel notes the life of an artist can be uncertain at times, she encourages young and budding artists to always be ready. Just paint, just paint. Because when somebody comes to you, you know, you have things to show. Or an old artist gave me the advice a long, long time ago. He said, always be ready to have an exhibition at the drop of a hat. At Art Del Vino, sip and paints will become a major part as a wide variety of wines are also provided. They also look forward to including the work of more artists to their displays in the near future. I am Carissa Douglas for TTT News and I love Tobago.